Thank you. Already played. Immediate crowd engagement. 15 love. And great first point by Goff. Being consistent, Mayor, and doing such a nice job of being more patient in this tournament, building the point until she has a good look, like that last backhand. Such a good sign for Goff, Mayor, when she's just got that determined look in her eye. The very first game does not appear to be nervous or overwhelmed at all to start this match. start. You can shroud tech the number one player in the world. Hoping to defend here. She was knocked out by Ostapenko, who was knocked out easily by Goff. And this team was very happy to how efficiently she has made her way to the semis in the last couple of days. Fifteen all. And that is a play that Mukaba mixes in more so than any other current players that serve in volley, Mayor, but Goff onto it there. You've seen the video, Lindsay, oh. of little Coco Goff yeah, at Kids dancing. Day? Yes, at of the, course. Yeah, there's Iconic. your dad up in the suite again. Sitting next to Tony Gotzik, agent of Coco Goff. 
They're smart, Mayor. Yeah. They've got their drinks. They're sitting yeah, up yeah. high. That's the way to the go. Sweets. Husband of Mary Jo Fernandez. in these opening games. 30-14. Uh, she just looks so calm and composed, and it helps that Goff played her just about three weeks ago. Is she knows Mukova likes to come in. She knows she's going to use her slice. And Goff has played night matches to get to this round. She loves this, this stage when the stars are out. already. What can Muka, what can she do Love against Coco Golf? What does offense. she do better than Coco? Well, the, fun, the one thing she can't do is donate points like she just did. She doesn't have as much power as Golf. She's got to be consistent. She's got to use her variety mare. She's got to look for her forehand. Lucky. She needs a little luck right now. 15. Golf forehand has Love been a team. huge talking point for many, many years. And it's been the most improved shot this summer as, as well as the first serve and that aggressive mindset. That last forehand, that was the old footwork. One big step wide and kind of falling over when she's hit it. That's the one area that has been so improved. Her preparation for the forehand. Be feeling them tonight. So, so basically, the problem in the past has 15, been that she sets her feet too wide. Well, there's a couple of of issues, if you so call it. But the team has decided they didn't want to touch her grip. They didn't right. want to do anything technical in the middle of the season, leading up to the U.S. Open. So they worked on getting to the shot differently. They worked on trying to finish into the court more. Similar to last night with her countrywoman, Marketa Vondrosova, Mukova looks yeah. nervous. She yes. doesn't look like she either she doesn't either she doesn't believe or she's just a bit overwhelmed right now. Four women's quarterfinals, Mayor, were not competitive. No. All of them very one-sided. 
all of them got off to a five love lead for one player. First semifinal starting off the same way. Not close, this first set so love far. Love three games to love first set. Love 15. Ladies and gentlemen, security the players, please do not use flash. Thank you. This game's so important for Mukova here. Mayor, she's got to get a hold. She's got to start to just feel a little bit more comfortable out here, get on the scoreboard, and settle down about her tennis. The crowd still settling in themselves to this match. That's what Mukova is going to need in this match, is a strong first serve. Be able to get some free points on it. Stats are terrible so far 13, for 13. Mukova. One winner to seven unforced errors, Mayor. Yep. Let's this up. Love leads three against one for set. Don't you laugh, Nia? Never say. Good, I love you. Oh, it's good. USOpen.org. Across all manner of social platforms, we'll tell you everything that's been going on today. Wheelchair tennis, juniors, doubles. It was free admissions into the grounds today. That's cool. Yeah. And those wheelchair matches are just amazing. It was out there a couple days ago. Fifteen love. Oh. 
That's just two second serve returns that Luka doesn't even put in play. Come on. There's Candy Goff, Coco's mom. You're doing great. Those parents not sitting together for this tournament. They may not be apart for too long. It's four <laughs> against one for six. So if you're Carolina's coach, Mayor, yeah. what, are you, what are you trying to tell her right now? How do you get her back into this? It looked like her team was, they put their hands towards the ground as if to say, calm down. It looks like she's, she can't even, there's no clarity to what she's doing right now. Oh. When she plays well, that server makes this game look preposterously easy from everywhere on the court. She's missing from everywhere tonight. Love 30. A couple of years ago, and we were really high up on the lip of Ash Stadium calling this match. A couple of years ago during the COVID US Open, I was up here like doing my notes and there was someone down on the court who was just, it was the most beautiful ball strike I'd ever seen and I couldn't tell who it was. And I, w I went all the way down, down there and it was her. Oh. She's been injured over the years. She's missed so much time. You know, she's no kid. She's 27 years old and I had not seen her play in so long. And she's missed significant periods 15, throughout her 13. whole career, even in the juniors, Mayor. Yes. Just a lot of time in those developmental years. Wasn't able to play those high-level junior tournaments. Had to take time off. Then also in the pros, it's been more of the same for Carolina. Yeah. 
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Coco slide. Fifteen. Mm. And by far the best point of the match, Mayor. And Goff able to thread this one right <laughs> on that baseline, perfectly placed. The movement, the short backswing, the ability to stay on balance when pulled to the corner. <laughs> Fifteen thirteen. some errors from the forehand side, isn't she? First game, uh, we've seen three unforced errors from Goff. This will help Hova start off. Even if she loses this set, if she was able to get a break of serve in this first set, will help her in that second. Game. She's got it. All right. New balls, please. We'll see if. 2-5 changes anything. Goff leads five, game to two for six. Goff is looking so solid, so good, and she's getting a lot of help from Uhova. Oh, wait. That's... Such a bad feeling too, Mara, Love on a big 15. match when just don't feel comfortable at all. She got rattled early by a slow start and just hasn't been able to fully relax and just let the tennis speak for itself.
Mayor, that's a lot of unforced errors in the last almost two games from Goff, and those are those types of dips we just haven't seen this tournament. Eight forehand unforced errors, one off the backhand. Still up 5-2, but level is, is dropped a little bit now from Goff these yep. last five minutes or so. Let's first up. Another miss from the forehand side, and now it's 5 3. Love leads five games to She's calmed down. A little bit of both. It's Coco who's missing out. Yeah. Like that is Carolina's coach, Emil. Carolina on that same side as them, but still. Oh. Just doesn't look thrilled with her game. Oh. The former Czechoslovakia, now the Czech Republic. Fifteen. They nine. produce so many tremendous tennis players, and I've read that. Not only are they great coaches, but they concentrate so much on footwork, Lindsay. Not just foot speed, footwork. It's the distinguish it's the animating principle behind the coaching. Fifteen on. That's always interesting, the different countries around the world and what types of players they develop. In Spain you typically typically get the heavy top spin, the ability to last forever, more comfortable a few feet behind the baseline, long rallies in the States, more of the flat yes. hardball hitters. For Muhammad. And that, how, how sizzling is her line backhand? Well, the drop shot 15, left too much 15. air under it, but read the Goff's forehand going cross. Now there's tension in this opening set. Thank you. has settled down enough to just work over that golf forehand. 15, uh, that 14. is the type of tennis that has gotten Mohova into the top 10, Mayor. 
that great all-around game. She mixes in some pace, able to finish points at net, and her first real sign of emotion there with that positive fist pump. Thank you, please ready. Thank you. Again. Another forehand miss. Golf leads five. What a turnaround! On serve in the first. play there from Goff Mayer, getting way more air under that forehand, getting it up and out of the strike zone of Mahova. More topspin, more net clearance. She's going to drop back and play some defense here and use her speed. Go for consistency. She's good up there, Mohova. That could be an expensive miss. Please. Give golf some set points. Please, thank you. goes to the American. Start of the second set. Let's see minutes. now if, if Goff starts to feel a little bit more free on her serve. Mare did not have a good serving set. Let's see if she starts to be able to go after that toss more, get some of the pace back. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Your voices are carrying to courts. Thank you. Quiet, please.
outlet for serve. Allison Hughes trying to get these fans mayor back focused on the tennis. Yeah. It's a party atmosphere. It down is there, the isn't noisiest it? court. To the to the point of rudeness at times. And the serve is back, Mayor. We've seen 110, 111, and 118 all in this first game. The second set. job there by Mahoba there stepping in. You've got to decide when someone goes higher to you. You're going to back up. You're going to try and make contact above your normal contact point. There's no hesitation on that last one. Big talking point of Brad Gilbert is the shape on the forehand. We've heard him say it of two. Resumes now. right back to the golf forehand. Yeah, and Mahova's got to look at this as new beginning of a new match. Her team there spent the entire break with her, trying to get physically, trying to get her mm. correct. A lot of stretching, some work done as well to the ab area. Oh. That has been a chronic injury for her. stoppages of play and who it helps no. reset and a little better tennis here. Thank you. play from Coco Mare. She's been pretty defensive. 14, Just 15. been getting balls in and trying to get out of the strike zone. And a game you're down, love 40, swing out on a few.
City. Again, the 19-year-old Coco Golf going up against the 27-year-old Czech, who's now in the top 10, but a year ago. Last year here, she was ranked 235 in the world. Thank you. all the times that Hova's had to stop playing. Played the U.S. Open in 2021, lost in the first round there, Mayor, and was not able to play again until the Miami Open mm -hmm. of 2022. Played a couple of matches and then had to withdraw again. Oh. that location that Gilbert was talking about to Goff before the interruption of getting it high and up out of the strike zone on the backhand wing of Mahova. She cannot hurt Goff and it has gotten a lot of errors as well. Yeah. Two nice looking holds. To, to start the resumption the of this yeah, semifinal yeah. match. An official statement has come out 15 love. from the tournament. And there's Naomi Osaka. President's box watching on. She was here talking about mental health yesterday. Uh, she and Michael Phelps as well, part of uh, a big discussion. She'll be coming back to tennis, she says, next year. She says she's in very good shape. Oh. I'll read you the statement we have been given. Says following the first game of the second That's set, enough. play was halted due to a fan-related incident. The fan in question affixed himself to the floor, and due to the nature of this action, medical professionals, NYPD, and security personnel were needed in order to resolve the issue and remove the fan from the stands. Is that 13, at the end of the 15. process because 
There's extra security around now for good reason. Yeah, what was going to be a fantastic night for the women, really the showcase for them for this tournament. Both semifinals played here at night. Yeah. Ugh, just horrible. I like the sound of this second set a lot more. They're, they're striking the ball harder. There's more intentionality from both of them in set two. Thank goodness. opportunity here for Goff. Mahova had been playing so well, Mayor, then a yeah. couple of errors and gives it and right back to Goff. better at net. Hey, exactly. Not a bad play Deuce. from Goff of charging the net there. Mahova with the more natural volleys of the two, but trying to get Coco to have to volley below the height of the net and then delicately feathering this one over. Coco covers the net well, so that was a nice combination play by Mahova. Coco wants to be in there too. Just know that oh, in gosh. that long, unfortunate break, Mohova's people said, don't even think about hitting it anywhere but to Coco Golf's forehand. Yeah, and pick on the forehand and again trying to get her healthy as, as well. She's not 100%. Yes. And whether it's the arm or the ab, both were getting worked on in that break. We could see some of the cameras in the gym. She holds. Two games all second set. USOpen.org can catch you up at Thank you. on what's been happening, including what has happened that has delayed this match. Love 15. Missed by Mahova. Coco using all her different spins. We've seen kicks, we've seen a lot of sliders, we've seen a couple of heat thrown in as well. Let's see 
15. Oh, it seems not to know what to wait for. Yeah. Smart stuff from Coco Golf. Oh. It's only her Thank first. You. Man, that's good. And that gets the crowd back going. Perfect serve there. Lost some of the energy, Mare, with that delay. And Coco trying to get it back here now. She has a smooth transition game. Has to yeah. Problem for Mahova, though, how about 4 of 13 when she's moved forward, Mayor? Oh, that's, that is, that's discouraging. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Service numbers are picking back up for Mahova. The first set was frightful for her. <laughs> Thank you. 
three, game full, second set. Um, I hope it's definitely settled down here. And from getting down 5-1 in that first set, Mayor, finally started to find her game and needs another break of serve here, though, in the second set. Golf service speed gone up six miles per hour, averaging on the first since that stoppage of play. Miss another attack 15. from the baseline to the net. It's almost like she tries, Muho, but too hard to sweep through it. Mahova pulled off the court. The errors Ladies start coming. Please remember, no flash, thank you. With confidence. Thinking, right? 14. Well, we've been trying to use her slice more. And slicing about 40% of her backhands in this second set, Mare, but it's just not doing much good when no. she uses it. Goff is not being thrown off by that at all. Oh. Lucky the golf miss miss that one into the net. 40-15. So she's just want to keep hitting through the ball, hitting through the court. <laughs> that serve brings Togo Goff two games away from the championship match. Goff leads four, game to three, second set. One by one set to nine. Just feels like this is where Coco's gonna make her move, doesn't it? Yes. She has stayed so calm. Nothing has rattled her at all tonight. Seems like another tournament ago when she was getting upset about the player taking too long. Oh, man, that's right. Much different. First round against Laura Sigmund of Germany. So much chatter. 15. Brad Gilbert just constantly, constantly going on and on in between points. Coco then getting defiant as well, thinking the German was taking too much time, and at times she surely was. Then Coco fast serving. This is a totally different mood, totally different temperament from the young American. Oh my goodness, missed that smash, Mare.
15-13. Fans reacting to the replay. It was two centimeters out. What a job by Mahova there, Mayor, just staying so rock solid. Those are the rallies that Goff has been winning through the course of this match. And Mahova not bailing out, yeah. not going for the drop shot, not going for an early winner. 21 shot rally, she wins. That's that quick first step, getting up to that short volley with enough time to be able to swing through that forehand. to three second sets. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. 
Well, please, thank you. Coco's made a couple of great runs at Major. She got all the way to the final of Roland Garros. But in her Grand Slam career, only one top 10 win. This would be number two. And would also get her to the US Open final. Thank you. Plays already. Juice. Not one of the most aggressive points Mahovas played. A couple of people screaming out when Coco went to serve. Both players playing as well when they've moved forward tonight. But they moved forward. Oh!
by one of the better backhands that Mohova's hit. Advantage. Goff has been relentless attacking that side with different heights and spins, and Mohova has just not felt comfortable over there all night. Let's to serve. Survives a match point. Goff leads five, game to four, second set, and by one set to love. from Mohova. 15, love. Goff thought she could squirt it past her. And not many players would have even been able to track that down, Mare. And Coco getting there, still getting a good pass, but great reach here from Mohova. Some lot. That's some point. What a response from Coco Golf. Thirteen fifteen. This is so good. From match point down, look how Muhova is playing. Ultra aggressive now, Mare. Doing everything she can to move forward. This is a couple of points ago. Tremendous over the shoulder lob by Coco. She hangs in there. The forehand that Muhova has been picking on. It's I think I like it more on the run. She swings through it more, doesn't she? That falls wide. Game, wow. Five games over. Even at six. five. And now she's walking over to Every where her team is. One point at a time. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. The old one point at a time advice. I think learning maybe not too much info as this tournament has gone on because that, that's gone down a little bit. Please, ladies and gentlemen. No. 
And there, let's not forget, semi-final Roland Garros down 5-2 in the third. Love Match that. point right. to Sabalenka before she managed to win the last five games in a row to get to the Roland Garros final. Scorch that one. 15 only. Again at the net. Oh, missed it. Ha ho! That did not miss by much, did it? It could not 20, have. 15. She had a lot of court, open water, and she missed it wide. It's up on the board. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a courtesy to both players. Please not make a noise during the point. Thank you. Is that why Mukova missed the volley? There was noise during the point? It didn't feel that way. But boy, she missed it. Another big backhand from Goff in this game. 14, 15. Go, go flat, go, go. You are doing great. On serve in the second. And by one side to love. Let's for serve. Ladies and gentlemen. Love 15. That's the right play. 15. Come on, go, go. Bit unlucky there by Goff.
Love that forehand there. She's been focused on consistency with that forehand there. Gave it a little bit more. Got to go after a big win. Point again. Thank you. Players are ready. Please. That forehand was struck 85 miles an hour. Match point number three for Coco Golf. She get it now. Does she get it in front of all these fans right here? Missed match point number three on a forehand. She did it there too.
juice. Here we go, buddy. Shots later. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Coco Goff has earned her sixth match. Thank point. you. Please, thank you. Is in her first U.S. Open final. 